So what's next for you? What's next for me, I think, is Batman, uh, but uh, I'm still working on that, so we're, we, we, we have some distance to go, but that's what I'm aiming for. Ben Affleck is an actor, screenwriter, producer, and director who has a net worth of $150 million. He is probably best known for writing and starring in Good Will Hunting and directing and starring in Argo. He and Matt Damon won an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay for Good Will Hunting. Ben won a Best Picture Award for Argo. Over his career, Ben has earned hundreds of millions of dollars in salary. With quite the fortune amassed by the actor, we wanted to know how he lives his life. We did some digging and came up with this video. This is Ben Affleck's lifestyle and how he spends his millions. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Who is Ben Affleck? Benjamin Geza Affleck Bolt was born on August 15, 1972 in Berkeley, California to parents Chris and Tim Affleck. Ben's mother was a school teacher and his father was an aspiring playwright who made a living working on a variety of jobs, including electrician, janitor, carpenter, and a bookie. The family moved to Falmouth, Massachusetts when Ben was three years old. This is where his younger brother, Casey was born. They settled permanently in Cambridge, where his parents later divorced. Ben's family was heavily involved in the arts in Cambridge. Ben and his brother attended theater performances from a young age and spent time with people who worked in the arts. His mother was friends with a local casting agent, who arranged auditions for both Affleck boys. Although she encouraged Ben to act, his mother never pushed him to make a career of acting. She wanted him to become a teacher. At the age of eight, Ben Affleck met Matt Damon, who was two years older than him. The boys hit it off immediately and became lifelong friends. They took acting classes together and would later launch their Hollywood careers together. Affleck's first professional acting job, a local independent film, when he was just seven years old. From the ages of eight to 15, Ben starred in the PBS children's shows Voyage of the Mimi and Second Voyage of the Mimi, working both in Cambridge and in Mexico. He then appeared in the ABC after-school special Wanted, A Perfect Man, and the television movie Hands of a Stranger at the age of 14 and 15, respectively. After graduating from Cambridge Rindage and Latin School in 1990, Ben played small parts in several movies, including Daddy, 1991, Buffy the Vampire Slayer 1992 and School Ties 1992. Thanks to his large size, he was often cast as a bully or jock. He portrayed a football player both in the NBC series Against the Grain and the HBO drama Body to Die For, the Aaron Henry story. Ben then scored a part as a high school bully in the now legendary Richard Linklater film Dazed and Confused. He also had a supporting role in the 1995 drama School Ties. Good Will Hunting The film that really launched Affleck's career was Good Will Hunting, which he co-wrote and acted in along with close friend Matt Damon. The script began as a 40-page assignment for Damon's playwriting class at Harvard University. Later, when the two lived together in Los Angeles, they worked together to expand it into a screenplay. They were both frustrated with the small and supporting background roles they'd been given up to that point, so they wanted to work on a project where they could make the big decisions themselves. Affleck and Damon gave the finished script to their agent, who shopped it around to several studios. Castle Rock accepted it in 1994, but they were not willing to give Ben and Matt the creative control that they wanted. The man took the screenplay to Miramax, where they were allowed a greater amount of creative freedom. Good Will Hunting was released in 1997 to wide critical acclaim, both for the screenplay and the acting. Affleck and Damon became overnight stars and were soon being casted in bigger roles thanks to their standout performances in the movie. Following the success of Good Will Hunting, Affleck found himself able to choose bigger and better roles. One of his first big successes was Armageddon, in which he played a blue-collar man who was sent into space to stop an asteroid from hitting the Earth. The movie was a huge success in theaters and cemented Ben's status as an up-and-coming leading man. Other equally successful films followed, such as Shakespeare in Love, Pearl Harbor, The Sum of All Fears, and Changing Lanes. They weren't all home runs, though. Several of Affleck's movies bombed at the box office. One particular disappointment was Daredevil 2003, which the actor would later say was the only movie he regretted making. Personal Life Affleck has been romantically linked to several big Hollywood names. He famously dated singer Jennifer Lopez from 2002 to 2003 and became a tabloid favorite overnight. The media could not get enough of Benifer, and paparazzi followed the couple's every move. While Ben and Jennifer had both been in the tabloids before, Ben was not as used to that level of constant spotlight and scrutiny. Affleck and Lopez got engaged in 2002, but put off their planned 2003 wedding due to the excessive media attention. They broke up the following year. Ben married Jennifer Garner in 2005. The couple went on to have three children together. They announced their separation in 2015, and their divorce was finalized in 2018. Ben attended residential therapy in 2001, for alcoholism. He returned in 2017 and again in 2018. In 2019, 
He had a public slip up after a year of sobriety, but vowed not to let it derail his progress. Directing Ben became interested in directing early in his career, and learned all he could from the directors he worked with. In 2007, he directed his first film, Gone Baby Gone. Then he wrote, produced, and directed The Town 2010. He produced, directed, and starred in Argo 2012, which was a huge commercial and critical success. Awards and Honors Affleck has won Academy Awards for Goodwill Hunting, Best Original Screenplay shared with Matt Damon, and Argo Best Picture. He has won several BAFTA, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild Awards almost exclusively for those two movies. How does Ben make his money? As a leading man, Ben has been commanding large paychecks since early in his career. He and Matt Damon each received $300,000 for the sale of the Goodwill Hunting screenplay. Reindeer Games earned the actor $6 million, while Pearl Harbor only brought a $250,000 payday. For Changing Lanes and The Sum of All Fears, he made a cool $10 million each. Daredevil and Giggly, neither of which were particularly successful, netted Affleck $11.5 million and $12.5 million, respectively. Coincidentally, his largest career acting paycheck, $15 million, came from the 2003 movie Paycheck. How does Affleck spend all the money he makes? Since Ben is worth $150 million, we wanted to know more about how he spends his money. This is what we found out. Charity and Philanthropy Ben Affleck has thrown his support behind many great causes, including the Paralyzed Veterans of America, Eastern Congo Initiative, and the AT Children's Project, and Feeding America. The amount of money he donated to these charities is not known. Real Estate In 2009, Jen and Ben spent $17.55 million for a home in LA Pacific Palisades neighborhood. Jennifer continued living in this house until late 2018. After she and the kids moved out, Ben and Jen sold this mansion to Maroon 5 singer Adam Levine for $32 million. In January 2019, that same month, Jennifer spent $8 million on a new home in the Los Angeles Brentwood Park neighborhood. Ben bought himself a $19 million mansion in the Pacific Palisades. Cars Ben loves specific types of cars. This is what we know is in his collection. Lexus RX The Lexus RX is a performance monster that doesn't compromise on looks and comfort for function. Ben Affleck's Lexus model boasts plush and luxurious interiors. The car is super spacious in comparison to most of its peers. And the heart of Affleck's RX is the 3.5-liter V6 that generates 270 horsepower and works in tandem with a super-efficient 6-speed automatic transmission. The result is a performance monster that glides as smoothly as butter once it takes to the streets. Tesla Model S The Pearl Harbor actor is the proud owner of a Tesla Model S. Within the Hollywood circle, the Tesla Model S is rumored to be a status symbol of sorts. A sign that you care about the planet, and Affleck has associated himself with the movement, a fully loaded Model S would easily cost you over $120,000, but that is clearly not much of a big deal when you are a Hollywood A-lister, as rich as Ben Affleck. Apart from supreme performance features, the Tesla Model S is one of the safest vehicles out there. Ben Affleck's Tesla Model S also boasts the quickest acceleration for any EV on Earth. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in as little as 2.3 seconds. Chevrolet Chevelle SS Ben Affleck loves a good-looking muscle car, and his next one is proof of the same. While celebs love flaunting super expensive cars, some have a classic taste, and Ben Affleck seems to be a part of the same group who doesn't love a classic muscle car. Ben Affleck's classic muscle car matches his real-life personality. Calm, composed, and subtle. And of course, it isn't black and modern like his Batmobile from Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. We love a classic from the yesteryears and would prefer a vintage Chevelle SS over the Batmobile for most modern-day cars. This vintage car was a part of one of Chevrolet's most famous nameplates back in 1960s. Affleck's Chevelle SS is a maroon-colored classic that catches your attention right away. Though old-school on the outside, it does feature modern amenities. It's Ben Affleck's car, after all, so it is hardly a surprise. So, Ben Affleck seems to spend his days riding around in stunning old muscle cars when he's not lazing in his mansion or shooting a movie. Feel free to leave a comment about our man Ben if you like. Thank you for watching, and be sure to come back for more. Until then, take care!